Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to fix these radar signs in black and purple texture glitches on Gary's Mod. If you're getting these, there's two ways to fix it. You can buy the Counter-Strike Source game off the Steam store, download it and run it, and that'll fix all these errors. Or you can download the textures for the Counter-Strike Source game, and this is completely legal, completely fine to do. Uh, that's what I'll be showing you how to do today, so let's get started. Alright, so the first step in this is you're going to need a uh, unpackaging program, unzipping program. You can use 7-Zip or WinRAR. I'm choosing WinRAR. If you already have one of these programs, there should be an annotation skipping to the point of the, uh, the installing the textures. So f uh, go and get the correct one for your system. You should have a 64-bit system. That's what most systems are now today. Go and click on this and uh, wait for it to download. I'll be downloading this to my desktop. And click on desktop and click save and uh, wait a second for it to download and minimize this then you're going to want to double click on what you just downloaded click yes um, go and click install click ok and you are done installing WinRAR you can go and get rid of the installer and that is all you have to do for this part of the tutorial. Once you have Renrar, you're going to want to go and go to the add file link in the description and start downloading the textures. So once you get to the add file link, go and wait five seconds, skip the ad in the top right corner, you'll be taken to file dropper, click the gray download this file button, enter in the Capacha. Once you have entered in the Capacha, make sure you do caps and everything, click the download now button. If you enter in the Capacha wrong, uh, nothing will pop up, and then you have to re-click the gray download button. Download it to your preferred location. I'll download mine to my desktop. Click Save. This will take 5 to 30 minutes for you to download, depending on your internet speeds. Um, I'll speed up the video, but we'll, I'll be waiting here. Alright, so once you you have finished downloading, you're going to go ahead and unpack the file. should be on your desktop or wherever you download it to. Go ahead and right click the file and click extract here. Uh, this will take a little bit, so I'll go and mute my mic again and sit here through the process. Once this process finishes, you're going to have a folder named CSS underscore content underscore add on January 2015. This is the latest uh, CSS content. It should have materials, models, particles, scripts, sound, sound, and add on in the folder. Go and just leave that on your desktop. Open up Steam. Uh, go navigate to the Gary's Mod game. Right click on it. Go to properties. And then you're going to want to go to local files tab and browse local files. This should pop up. Go and go into Gary's Mod folder. Folder. Go into Add-ons. Click and drag this the CSS content folder into there. And then wait a moment. Once it's moved into there, you are done. Go and launch Gary's Mod and confirm that this uh the airs are gone. I'll be back when I join the server. So once you have completed all these steps, you'll no longer have red air signs or black and purple boxes in Gmod. If this helped you, please leave a like down below. If you have any questions or concerns, leave it down in the comment section. And until next time, peace out.